Since its inception 22 years ago, the Goodies Dash Series has been one of the best paths for young drivers to break into an NASCAR Touring Series. From Daytona to Bristol, the Goodies pilots experience all the thrills of big-time stock car racing, sometimes even before they're 20 years old. The high-backed Bristol Motor Speedway has become a mainstay on the tour. Last year, 18-year-old Mike Swain Jr. captured his first win. We'll get another youngster dash to victory lane tonight. Stay tuned. We'll find out as Bristol is next. Bristol, Tennessee, Bristol Motor Speedway, side of tonight's NASCAR Goodies Dash Series, Goodies 150. It has been a scorcher of a day here in the Blue Ridge Mountains of Tennessee, but now the temperatures have cooled off to a very comfortable 74 degrees, the humidity down to 67%, calm winds and clear skies. How competitive is this series? After nine of 21 events, there have been six different, yes, I said six different leaders atop the point standings. Robert Huffman, the only two-time winner this year, has a very scant 26-point margin over Danny Bagwell, B.J. Mackey, Lyndon Amick, and Donnie Duchesne rounding out the top five. Well, we told you this series has a mix of youth and experience. Uh, well, we almost described the front row. For more, let's go down to Marty Reed. Yeah, you're dead on there, Doc. As uh, age before beauty, as they always say, well, Il Will Hobgood at age 44 has got that uh, down like a pattern. This is his third straight Bristol pole. But last year, you finished 16th. You, I know you want to turn that around. And qualifying certainly different than the race. Yeah, wait a minute. First, you ain't supposed to be telling my age out here now. You, <laughs> you, you young guys over here, you know how they are. Uh, yeah, it's our third straight pole. Uh, car's running good. We just got to keep our nose clean and try to bring this thing home to victory lane. Well, the one thing we have to remember as we move over, because we're going to talk to the uh, beauty part of this deal, is this is a brand new car for this track. First time it's run here. Now, Lyndon Amick, 18 years old. I got to ask you the strategy here. The fuel window opens at about 50 laps out of the 150 that we're running. Uh, do you want to pit early or are you going to go longer and then uh, go for the dash at the end? Uh, I think we'll try to come in early, you know, we'll do pretty much whatever the leader does. If we're the leader, we'll probably try to come in early, you know, and get back out there because we don't want to be coming in at the tail end, you know, that's not good. We want to be out front and do the best we can. Well, we're going to find out. Will it be age? Will it be beauty? It's going to be a shootout on this track. As Benny mentioned, keep an eye on these guys. Doc? Thanks, Marty. Hello, everyone. I'm Jerry Punch, along with our expert analyst here, former Winston Cup champion, BP, Benny Parsons. Benny, you know, the NASCAR Goodies Dash Series considered the entry level among the 12 touring series of NASCAR, but what they lack in maybe experience, they certainly don't lack in enthusiasm. That's exactly what I was going to say, enthusiasm. Folks, you might not know these drivers' names, but pay attention because it is going to be exciting. It's the heck of the torpedoes, full steam ahead. If they can pass that guy in front of them, they're going to try to do it. If it's two abreast, three abreast, high, low, it doesn't matter. It is going to be genuinely exciting. Last two years, this race has had 13 caution flags. The Winston Cup guys and Bush guys, they may know better to run two wide or three wide. These guys don't. So folks, don't take any rapid trips to the fridge. You may miss some exciting action. We'll come back with the starting lineup in just a moment. This ESPN2 Speed Roll presentation is being brought to you by Little Caesars Pizza Pizza, where you always get two great pizzas for one low price. And by the NASCAR Story. To order, call 800-71-NASCAR. Beautiful evening for racing here in Bristol, Tennessee. The field rolling 30 cars. We'll start today, 15 rows of two, led by Will Hopgood, who for the third year in a row, Benny Parsons, has set his own track record. He broke it again in qualifying early today. He puts his Pontiac on the front row at 17.134 seconds, almost 111.98 miles per hour and we have two mike swames in the field junior and senior we can see the junior is third senior back in 10th spot but meanwhile danny bagwell junior miller runs very well and young bj mackey 19 years old tommy houston's son andy dave stacy remember a couple of years ago he went to the lake during the goodies the 200 mile race at daytona international speedway there's the veteran mickey york back in 16th spot 92 series champion edward howell driving a dodge ned cone the oldest driver in the field of 51 years of age scott weaver veteran of this series for many many years gary moore also a veteran david amick making only his uh, second start of the 96 season 
Those are the 30 cars that will start. Now, eight drivers came here and did not qualify, led by Jason Jarrett. He missed the starting field by three one-thousandths of a second, trying to make his NASCAR Goodies Dash Series debut. Yes, he is the son of Dale Jarrett and the grandson of our colleague, Ned. Take a look at the track description here, Bristol International Raceway. 0.533 mile oval, front and back stretch equally, 650 feet degrees of banking, 36 degrees of banking, straight 16 degrees, the most steeply banked facility in all of NASCAR. Our race analysis, 150 laps of pole speed, a new track record, 111.987, and 30 cars will start. We'll be riding along with three different drivers tonight, starting back in 24th spot. 35-year-old George Crenshaw making only his third start. There's a look at George making his third start in the 1996 season. The Centos Pontiac Sunfire. And also back in 2016 spot, the car number 24, Mickey York, the 1992 national champion, veteran, and three-time most popular driver, the Cobra Electronics Sprint Communications Pontiac. And, of course, we're going to ride with the pole sitter. There's a look at 44-year-old Will Hopgood in the wins Pontiac. Our onboard camera showing him in a four-cylinder subcompact sedan. And Benny back in 14th spot, that is our point leader. And he's got a long ways to get to the front. There's Jim Foster. That, the car we saw going through the grass in Daytona. Off the ground was the number seven car. A little bit different paint job. Pizza Hut and Pepsi, the sponsors on his car for Jimmy Foster, leading rookie of the year contender. Our Ford Mustang safety car pulls off. We're set for the green as Jimmy Howell will wave it to Will Hopgood and Linda Amick out of turn four. Junior, the 21 car, Andy Houston in the 30. Battle for about 10th spot. And Swain goes very high. There goes Dan Partison, the 42 car. The bottom of the racetrack is the fastest way around. A look, Linda Namick in the 33 got the jump on the start, led the first couple of laps. Now Hobgood in the 65 car. There he is, we're riding along him in the wind's friction proofing car. He's caught, Amy, can he get by? Hobgood looks to the inside off of turn two. He will have the shot, and he will take the lead. BP headed back into the turn. Made it look easy. Made it look real easy. Amy high on the racetrack. Got in the corner a little bit too hard. That let Bagel in the 10 car catch up. The white car in four spot. That's four spot. That's Mike Swain Jr. and young B.J. Mackey in 71. We're talking about young because Mackey's 18 years of age. Whoa, Mike Swain Jr., the guy who won this race a year ago in the car number 28, gets way high. That opens the door for Mackey. You didn't mention a moment ago. There's BJ in the car number 71. And Dave Stacy, that black car, that's number six, is literally pushed Junior Miller in the 69 car off the fourth corner. This time Miller goes a little high and lets Stacy on the inside. Miller, the NASCAR Modified Series ace veteran, 1995 Smart Series champion. Now he gets past. Here comes Houston, the car number 30, Andy Houston. He is the youngest son of Bush Grand National Series veteran Tommy Houston. And then Artis in the 42 car was able to get by. Mike Swain was not able to get by Junior Miller. There's the points leader in the yellow 37, Robert Hudson, the White Horse White House Apple Juice car. You're watching right here, the 37 car. Robert Huffman, one pole this year, two wins. The only multiple winner in Goody's Dash Series competition. Benny, he won last week at Florence, uh, or back of May the 8th, or June the 8th, back in Florence, South Carolina, and led only one lap. That led about a half a lap. <laughs> this racetrack a lot different than Florence. Florence is about a one-third mile flat racetrack. This, 0.533 miles. And there's a little Hobgood. Qualifying's over, Will. I mean, you don't have to run qualifying every lap. Now, slow down, let these guys catch up. He's going to slow down because heavy traffic in front of our leader. There we see the 90 car. That's a Brazilian in the 90 car, Luis Colon. Hopgood goes by. There's Thompson goes by. Davis Myers at 20. Hopgood has gone around that traffic. 
very, very well. Meanwhile, there comes Lyndon Amick on the outside. And Benny Wilhop just on this track owes him one. He sat on the pole three years in a row, but he's yet to win here. He led 105 laps last year, only to have a, a plug in the rear end of Dan Parks' car. He hit the rear end grease and slammed the wall. Ended up finishing back in 16th spot. Riding along to the roof cam of the Wins Pontiac, Will Hopgood, our leader here in the early lap of the Goodies 150 at Bristol Motor Speedway in Bristol, Tennessee. We'll be right back. Stay with us. Back at Bristol Motor Speedway in Bristol, Tennessee. We're under caution for the first time today. Just as we went away to commercial a moment ago, this car, number six, top of your screen. Watch him begin to exude smoke, and Benny, that's not a good sign. No, anytime the smoke comes out from under the hood, by the left front tire, that is bad news. The engine expired on the six car, and Dave Stacy pulled it behind the wall. Meanwhile, the NASCAR officials have sent the cleanup truck out to check, make sure there's no fluids on the racetrack. Stacy was in eighth spot. In fact, he was in ninth spot in the point standings, uh, just 46 points behind Jimmy Foster, the rookie who's having an incredible year. Let's see. And as you see, our leader will hop good. Following the Ford Mustang safety car, there's our top 15. As the early laps winding away, 15 of 150 laps are complete. Back with more, we're under caution at Bristol. Back at Bristol, Tennessee, restart lap 17, and Will Hopgood waste little time in jumping into the throttle. Benny Parsons, the four-cylinder car, but looked like a rocket coming off the corner. He pulled about uh, that 10 car lengths ahead on the first lap, but we see Lyndon Amy in the 33 has closed up just a little bit, and B.J. Mack in 71 right now might be the fastest car on the racetrack. There's B.J. Mackey, 18-year-old driver, youngest member of the NASCAR Goodies Dash Series contingent. Early third in the point standings. One win this year for B.J. Never see Jimmy Foster in the seventh car going by the 52. It's Daryl Mary in 52. Foster takes that spot away. That's back for 11th position. Jimmy Foster, already a winner this year in competition, won at Caraway Sweet Bay back on, back on May the 11th as a rookie. After qualifying third at Ashboro. spin and a, a tire's loose up in turn four look out everybody that's off the car number four of Destry Gardner out of Ashburn North Carolina Destry a limited campaigner here in the NASCAR goodies dash series ran only two races in 1996 Benny a second at Homestead and eighth at Caraway but this is a 1993 Pontiac Sunbird his own car he's driving here and apparently uh, something breaking on the car if we can see what happened to Destry the left rear there we see the tire flying around up in turn four. The left rear tire looked like it came off and goes down in the infield. Looks like you broke a wheel or something. I don't know. Boy, something sheared away on the back of that car, number four, that Pontiac Sunbird, bringing out the second caution flag today. Meanwhile, the first caution flag came out when Dave Stacy had a problem, and he's standing by with Marty Reed. Yeah, Dave Stacy's already made the change out of his driver's uniform. Uh, the motor obviously let go, but you were ninth in the points. This was really costly for you. Um, we've had a rough rough four weeks. Last four weeks, we we haven't finished on the lead lap. Coming from leading the most laps all year, you know, it's really it's a heartbreaker for us. You know, our, our team, Team Ohio Ford, you know, man, it's a heartbreaker. I think everybody that's helped us from Ohio, um, like, say, Janet Siegel, get well. We're all, she's been sick. She's one of our big supporters. It's going to get better someday, you know. We just got to kind of ride it out, get the monkey off her back. It sure would be nice. Guys, he was talking about leading the most laps. Give you an idea. He had 242 to Lyndon Amick's 177 coming into tonight's action. I tell you, he certainly wanted to thank the folks from Team Ohio who have pulled together from his hometown in Enon to be able to get him back on track and get him here to Bristol, Tennessee. Mm -hmm. Under caution for the second time today, back with more from Bristol after this. <laughs> 